Hello, good evening. It is currently Sunday the 3rd of May. Speaking of which, I need to change my calendar. Ta-da! Welcome to my first vlog of May of the Medieval-a-thon. It's late. It's not the first. <laughs> I don't really know why I'm starting it now. I guess it would be weird to like start it on the first because it, that would have been like the middle of a week and that's just a weird time to start a reading vlog, but it's like Sunday night, which is basically the start of a new week. I wanted to show you just some of the physical books on my TBR. Uh, I'm not gonna go through my whole TBR. Here are just some of the books that I'm hoping to get to this month. Some of them, yes, are library books that I had checked out before quarantine book I'm currently in the middle of is His Majesty's Dragon by Naomi Novik. This would complete the prompt to, which I didn't even include in my TBR video, <laughs> is to read a book with a dragon on the cover. It just came in, so I'm, I'm reading it. I'm 40% of the way into that, so that's great. Um, I've been reading it over the last couple days. Goals for this week? To read. <laughs> just to read more. Goals for tonight? I probably should edit my April wrap up. Probably should do that, but I don't know I won't. We had a wild night. One neighbor's dog bit a little girl, one of our other neighbors. So we had to call the cops and all that fun stuff. And you know, it was, it was, it was a time. That is all I got for right now. I just wanted to intro this vlog, welcome you to the vlog. I hope you enjoy it hopefully. I did have a vlog from last week that I was hoping I could upload, but it was just me crying a lot because I'm going through some things in my mind and I just thought it didn't really make for a good vlog because um it just it was too much of uh, me venting and not enough of me reading. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Good evening. It is now Monday evening. It's late. It's like 10 o'clock and I just wanted to tell you what I read today. I read a book that was not on the May TBR but I needed to read it because it was by Arthur Neck Alley and I'm trying to up my Neck Alley <laughs> uh, average rating thing. That was Break Your Glass Slipper by Amanda Lovelace, her newest poetry collection. I gave it three out of five stars. I I'm feeling lately like Amanda Lovelace is one extreme or the other. I'm either like absolutely in love, like head over heels, like love the book, like the collection, whatever I'm reading, or I'm like, nah. I wrote a whole review on it and I'm not gonna go into detail because I feel like I'm gonna wanna do my wrap up. Don't base like my opinion of Amanda Lovelace because I feel like it's kind of all over the place and inconsistent. I just wanna feel better work. You know, like I feel like there are points when she's really good and then other points where it just doesn't hit for me. This one just didn't hit for me. It wasn't bad. It still was good and I still had like quotes. I actually had a quote that I wrote down that I love that much. Overall as a collection, I was like, I don't think I'll leave it. I also started The Feather Thief and I got about 8% of the way through that, which is like 40 minutes in, which isn't that much, but it's something. I feel like I did stuff today, but I don't know what I did filmed my April wrap up because I had filmed a like get ready with me thing but I feel like it just wasn't it was just a long video and it just wasn't a good video and I feel like I wasn't making any sense in it and I just blah, blah, blah. hopefully I will get more reading done tomorrow but I don't know I just wanted to give you a quick update and I'm here in my ugly weird zip up hoodie thing that has like these shiny parts on the sleeves but I've had her for a while, so she's special in my heart. cup of cold brew which I've been really enjoying drinking lately. If you have not tried any of the Tarani, I think the brand is, I showed it in the clip earlier, their sweeteners 
are so good. <laughs> so good. My life has been changed. I did more reading this morning and I tried reading more of The Feather Thief and I've decided to DNF it. I'm probably like 25% in and it's boring. It's boring. I wish we could just skip to the part of the actual feather heist, but I just don't want like a whole hundred pages dedicated to the whole history of birds. In addition that it might be relevant to the story because obviously like he stole feathers from the museum and the author is providing a whole history of how those feathers got to the museum in the first place but it's not done in an interesting way and it's not grasping my attention. Like I could keep reading it and I could get to the point of the heist. I wouldn't die of boredom but I feel like I'm just listening to words and I'm not taking anything in. Like if you were to quiz me on any of the info that I was hearing, I would I would know nothing. I would know nothing still about the hunt and and bird smuggling and I wouldn't know anything about it. So we're just not gonna read it. Which is a shame because honestly I've had it on my TBR for like probably years now. That being said, I don't know what I'm gonna read now. <laughs> Luckily I didn't waste a lot of time listening to it. Luckily I wasn't like 40% in because that would have irritated me. Fifth of the month and we're already DNF in a book. Love that energy going into May. It's also like a weird day because it's the first day that my sister goes back to work. She's been out of work since, wow, the end of March now. So it's really weird and I think I'm like floundering because of it. It's just me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to read something else and I'll let you know when I've read more. I'll probably be cleaner probably will have bathed and uh later hello it is now like 1 30. i did more reading luckily i ended up starting hunted by megan spooner and it's really good i'm shocked i saw really i've seen like really not great reviews about it and i was like oh i'm, I'm probably gonna dnf it and honestly I'm enjoying it so far. Sorry, I had to fix my hair. I have not read, and I haven't in a long time read much YA fantasy. So is it maybe necessarily the most original piece of artwork ever? No, but I'm enjoying it. I haven't read a fairy tale fantasy like retelling that's like YA in forever. The plot just started picking up and I'm excited to make more headway in it. Back is killing me though. I was hoping to do things, but my back is like, an analysis, not today. You're probably thinking, well, then what'd you do? Nothing. I did nothing today. And it just hurts. EDS life. Wednesday at like six o'clock. I haven't read anything today. I've been busy all day long. We had therapy today, which it went. Um, no, it went well, um, I guess. And I've identified things that I need to work on and um, I'm luckily getting help from my therapist about where to start to help myself. What they don't tell you is that, I'm gonna tell you right now, the hardest part of therapy um, is newly approaching problems. And um, this isn't a new feeling for me. I have approached problems before and had to start from the beginning, if you will, and that's you know what I'm doing essentially is this is a new problem that I haven't worked on before and um, it's 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 gonna require work and it gets harder before it gets easier but I have to do that because I don't want to get worse I'm getting help now and that I can get help before I reach a certain point um, but it is scary it's scary to face your demons it's uncomfortable it's the most uncomfortable in the beginning it's so raw it's so 
you feel so vulnerable because you have to address these issues that you've been suppressing or just dealing with or letting run your life and um I'm ready to face them because I I made the step I rescheduled my therapist um I'm gonna be going on a regular basis for right now and that'll be good for me but it is it's hard saying that you have a problem it's hard and I don't want to minimize that because I feel like maybe you might go into therapy one day and be like oh it's easy you just talk to somebody and yeah like I feel much better now that I've talked to my therapist and I have you know direction and and I'm getting help um but it's hard in the beginning it's really hard I won't sugarcoat that uh, it is so extremely hard and um you know I, I've, I've done it before I've worked on things before and I've made such good progress and I'm excited to do that again but it's hard each and every time I love being mentally ill and discovering new things I need to work on <laughs> never ending it feels like that's all i got i don't know if i'll read anything tonight i kind of have some things i have to catch up on i'll talk to you when i have read some things but yay for therapy and yay for telemed therapy uh man that's it's a life life changer good afternoon it is currently friday it's about two o'clock and i've gotten a lot accomplished today. I finished three books, got 20% more of the way through another one, and as you can see this is very white and that is because I got a new mattress and I'm so excited. Um, I've had the same mattress now, I've had the same mattress for like five years now, and it's a good mattress. There's still nothing wrong with it. I just have gotten more decrepit since I bought it and I just need something softer. bought the same brand but in like a more plush version of it. And so far, so great. Like I haven't slept on it yet, so I don't know. Just from sitting on it, it seems a lot softer. Super, super cheap. If you're looking for really cheap, affordable, wonderful quality mattresses, I highly recommend the brand Lucid, L-U-C-I-D on Amazon. I mean, you can buy them other places, but Amazon I think has the best prices for them. Absolutely great mattresses. I've had the one I've had now for like four, five years I think and I it's still good like it's now like our spare bedroom bed so it's really great it's still in like great condition it's like a memory foam mattress and so far I really like this one which is like the 2019 model in medium plush it's a lot softer than the one that I had which I think was like medium firm probably I also completed three graphic novels and I got 20 more percent of the way through His Majesty's Dragon by Naomi Novik and I'm really enjoying it really enjoying it I'm now 60 percent of the way into it I only have two more days on it left so it needs to get read <laughs> so I'm hoping to get a couple more hours of it done today I have to I absolutely have to because I have to read it before it goes back and then read a couple hours of it tomorrow. The three graphic novels that I finished were two that I already had on my radar, their continuations slash finishing of series, and another one that I kind of knew about but didn't add to my TBR, and then I saw it and I was like, hey, we're gonna do it. The first one that I finished was Indoor Recess, which is volume 13 in the Lumberjane series. I ended up giving this three out of five stars. It was okay, but I felt like it was boring, and I felt like it just felt like filler. The next book that I finished was a shocker and that was The Nameless City by Faith Erin Hicks. Now I had seen this on Neck Alley and I think I requested it and then I got denied for it <laughs> and I requested it and then like I forgot about it and like I saw it pop up through Libby and I was like hey let's give it a shot and then I realized after I read it that it was by Faith Erin Hicks which she recently just did the graphic novel of Pumpkinheads for Rainbow Rowell's Book. I was like oh okay and I gave this five out of five stars this was phenomenal plot characters world building five out of 
5 out of 5. I love the whole thing. If you are a reader and you don't read many graphic novels because you find that a lot of times when people talk about graphic novels it's individual issues and it can be weird and confusing and you just feel like you're being strung along, I highly recommend this one. I think readers like that would really enjoy this. I feel like this is a starter graphic novel. Really, really good. And the last book that I was hoping would be better but wasn't was the third volume in the Black Badges series by Matt Kint and Tyler Jenkins. I've been reading this since last year. It's this weird series about a bunch of kids, teens, who are like these, not spies, but these like black ops agents. I was so confused because this is such a gritty series. Like volumes one through eight were rough to get through. Like they were gritty, it didn't sugarcoat anything. And I thought that it would have a very gritty ending to the series. This was the last volume. It ended at 12 issues and um, it, it ended and it just wrapped all nicely into a little bow. And I was like, really? Really? And I felt like it led so much up in the first eight issues and I feel like at the end of the eighth issue I still didn't know what the heck was going on and then I get answers just in the last like two. I felt like it, it, it wrapped up way too quickly and way too nicely. I don't recommend it honestly if you just want to have something to read that won't take you much time. It's not the worst thing I've ever done but um it didn't have the right payoff. I would have liked some more grittiness. It felt like the last few volumes were like in a different series because it was just like and then they all lived happily ever after and I just it's not what I was looking for. Should I did no reading. I spent a lot of time being all up in my emotions <laughs> and doing a lot of therapy homework. Probably won't update you again tonight. Probably not. This was a long enough clip as it is for today. I'll see y'all tomorrow when I've read more because I have to read more because my book gets returned. right now anyway hello hi it is currently saturday and it's is there ever someone not interrupting me with a car or a loud noise now five o'clock i have a big old cup of tea in my new mug that i love i did a lot of reading last night and today also i have a crazy story to tell so the first thing that I want to tell you about is that I finished my book and the book that I finished was His Majesty's Dragon by Naomi Novik. I ended up giving it four out of five stars. I really really enjoyed it. I probably would have given it a five if I had read it physically because I feel like a lot of the battle going on just got lost through the audiobook and I just got like it wasn't the book's fault it was my fault and my attention span. <laughs> Didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. Basically this is all about wars in the late 1700s and they fight with dragons and it's cool. Never loved a character as much as I love Temerer who is a dragon and wow Temerer's Bay like I freaking love him. If you're looking for a very very easy fantasy I highly recommend this one. Last night was wild 
to say the least. I was going outside to take out my trash. I heard the dog who was like, we have like an access road alleyway, basically like the only reason you would go down it is to like park in like the back of your house. And um, he was, a, the house is across the road and um, I hear him barking. And luckily I had known about a previous incident of the dog had come and like come out and bit the little girl like a few houses down but this dog has been known to be a problem the owner had previously just let the dog like they just left the dog outside all day long we took down the fence and had the dog come inside more so yeah luckily i knew of that incident if i had not and i kid you not run for my life and run to my gate and close it this dog would have bit me he came for me like he came out his back door and ran for me he came after me and was intending to bite me first experience i've ever had with anything like this it was um crazy like i was impressed with my instincts to run <laughs> and by the time i got to my gate to close it he was there and he was like fighting to get in and i was like holding it shut because like i didn't want to reach where the latch is it's, like low it's like the middle of the gate kind of like the middle of the height of the gate i didn't want to like reach down and close it so i was just like holding it and i was like screaming at him like i don't scream and i was like screaming at the top of my lungs my my voice was hoarse for like hours and the owner one of the kids of the owner i think came over and tried to catch him and exactly what happened last week was that when they tried to come and catch him he took off down the road so we called the cops we contacted animal control and um, I'll probably be hearing from animal control in the beginning of next week I guess and I hope the dog goes he has serious anger issues like I wasn't in his yard I'm nowhere near his yard he saw me and came after me like no one was around me he had no reason to think that I was threatening to him in any way shape or form that that was my funny evening but now it's over and now it's kind of funny because, I don't know, you laugh at traumatic events. <laughs> you may be wondering, why are you in a mock turtleneck? What's with the mock neck? Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it May? Isn't it, isn't it May? Yes, it is. But I live in the Northeast and it's 40 something degrees outside. Can somebody come and get this weather because I'm tired of it? I'm gonna drink my tea, lay in my new cozy, comfy bed. I don't know if I like it that much yet or not. Like. Is it that much better than my old bed? I don't know yet. I mean, I needed to get another bed because like we needed a spare room bed, but like, is it amazing? I don't know yet. I will talk to you later. Probably later as in tomorrow. Peace. Hello, good evening. It is now Sunday evening. It is now seven and I thought I would do more reading today, but I didn't. I ended up driving a stupid long time to go get wings from like the only good wing place that I know of which is like 25 minutes there and 25 minutes back and I ate wings and I watched a couple episodes of The Masked Singer so I didn't do any more reading today but I did film two videos which is good because I need some backlogged content. I just wanted to real quick wrap up this vlog and I'm not going to go over again all the books that I read because you just watched this whole vlog. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you which challenges I completed. For the under 200 pages challenge I read Break Your Glass Slippers by Amanda Lovelace. For the green on the dust jacket I ended up reading The Nameless City. For Dragon on the cover I ended up reading His Majesty's Dragon. I got three prompts in the wardrobe area of the readathon. These are really bad, but I don't know. I was just having fun and just like, I was like, yeah, let's try on some outfits. I don't know. <laughs> then for the like weapons portion of it, I ended up completing the prompt. Did something with something pointy on the cover, which was Black Badge, which he has like these like darts going across his like chest on in this band thing. I don't know. Then for the animal prompts, I ended up completing the prompt to read a book high on your bookshelf. I think she meant to read a book that is physically high on your bookshelf, but considering I have two physical CBR books, that wasn't gonna work. So I ended up meaning high priority, 
on my TBR. And for that, I ended up reading Indoor Recess, which is volume 13 in Lumberjanes, because I read Lumberjanes like as soon as they come out, they're pretty high priority for me. Those are all the prompts that I completed, which is pretty fantastic. I mean, I managed to complete a prompt with every book that I read. And I also managed to read five books, which is also pretty spectacular, honestly. I mean, it's technically going into like the second week of the month and that's really exciting. I'm excited to hopefully keep this momentum going throughout the month and I might read more tonight but that'll start in the next vlog for next week. I'm hoping I can keep these vlogs going. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know any of your thoughts down below. I don't want to ramble on <laughs> at all and uh, yeah I hope I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!